Okay, so guys, quick one. Um, to those of you that are familiar with the new site I just showed you guys, so work has started fully today. So we have we are starting fully today. So um, let me quickly take you guys through. So we've started our excavation too, because we are excavating. Uh, I think average of one meter or so. There are some places that are two meter deep. There are places that have one meter. And there are some places that we're not excavating at all. So we started our excavation. So let's um, quickly go through on that. Let me just take you guys through that. So just see what I have for you today. So let's go, guys. Okay, so for those of you that have been following up, you must be very familiar with this size. So you must be very familiar. Our, our machines are on site, the equipment are on site for work. Uh, so we've started. So this is the, the side that we are starting our excavation from. So you can see, guys, there are some places that are very deep. I think this side is 2 meters. Okay, we're having 2 meters on this side. So by the time we get to the midpoint or towards the end, we'll be having one meter or 0 0.5 thereabouts. So uh, let me quickly show you guys so how I'm checking my levels because I need to be following. You know this excavator, so <laughs> if you are not following back to back, they, he will definitely miss it at some point. So that's why I'm always here on standby to check. Okay, so let me quickly take you guys through on that. Okay, so my level instrument is set, so that one is on standby. So I'm going to check my my benchmark is somewhere I've transferred it on this street light. My benchmark is on this street light, so I will check it and um, so that I can use that to follow up with my level. Also, I will uh okay, let me quickly show you we I have a 3D that shows the foundation plan for this for this um, developments for this building we are doing right now. So let me show you that uh the 3D building. Okay, so that's the 3D building that you can you can see it on the on the screen. So um, let me quickly show you the the section two that shows the, the the depth that we are going from the DPC from the ground floor to the to the foundation to the bottom of the foundation. We are using part footing on this uh, building. So I will show you. Let me show you the section from the ground floor to, to the foundation of the part footing. So this is that you can see the uh, the drawing the section. So I cut the section myself. So I did the calculation, the height they needed for from the ground floor to to the foundation of the footing. So that's the drawing you've seen there. Okay. So let's quickly go into what we have today. Let me check the levels that these guys are doing. Let me check it. Okay, so my level instrument is set, guys. So this is where I'm setting it. My level instrument is set, so you can see. So my level instrument is intact. So um, my colleague has gone to where I have my benchmark. That is the, the ground floor, the designed DPC level, the ground floor level. So I've transferred it on that street light. So you can see, guys, it's already there. So I will check from here, see what I have. So I have one, two, one point two, two five, one two two five. So let me show you guys. So I have one two two five. So from that one two two five, I'll be adding my calculation that I need to go down with. So I'm going down with two point one five zero. So I want to go down from that level that I just checked right now. So I'm going down to my foundation level with two point one five zero. So I'm going to add two point one five zero to my readings that I have right now. So I'm going to add it then to give me the final level that I need to go to my... So I'm going to add the levels that I need. So I'll add 2.150 plus my benchmark, my, my back side. So I'm going to add the two together. So it will give me the depth that I'm going for, for my excavation. So 
So if I had the two together, that should be giving me three, three point three seven five meters. So three three seven five. So that's what I must be seeing from my staff. So I need to be seeing three three seven five for my staff to get to to the exact level that I'm going. Oh yeah, which is. Yeah, go to that side. So I need three, three, seven, five. So let me show you what I have guys. So I have three, three, four, three, three, four, five. Let me show you. So I have can you see I have three three four three three five zero. So I need some five. So I need 25 mm to get to where I'm going, which is fine for my excavation. So that level is okay. So before I will now transfer the final level, I will use the iron peg to transfer that level on that spot. All right, so that level is fine. So I will just keep monitoring like that till uh, the excavator finishes work for his work for today. So I will just make sure I keep following to so that I will not miss the level at any point. So that's it, guys. So if you want to check your excavation level, that's just the, the, the fastest and easiest way to do that. So that's it, guys. Once you are going down, you just add whatever you want to go down with to your to your backside. So and you definitely monitor that with it. So that's it guys.